looks to be some sort of fungus. They're right there. Looks a little ribbed. But look how it grew. And stretched out. I think it's a different kind of fungus. It was like these little furry seed pies or something like that. I'm glad I didn't just, just throw them on the ground. I don't know what's going to happen. I guess it's just some other type of a uh, shroom. I saw it. I saw it giving off the little powdery stuff yesterday. And I guess that was the spores or whatever. But yeah. Looks to be some sort of fungus. Cool. Oh, yeah. Definitely a fungus. Definitely a fungus. We did an overhaul yesterday and I've been having these old basil roots and stems and stuff. I told myself I was going to make a tea and I never made a tea. So I said I'm going to turn them upside down and see if anything started happening with the roots or something out here in the humidity or whatever. Just as an experiment, at least to the lavender get popping. But yeah, definitely some sort of fungus. I wonder would it have been beneficial? It just it was the takeover was so strong. It was just so strong with the pop up, and that was that uh, organic growth stuff that I bought. I guess yeah. See, it's one down there too. Different soil, different fungus. Cool beans. Let me see. Some right there, some right there, and I think I just saw one in my. Um, bachelor button mix I think I'm uh I might let these ride and see what happens see if they get huge or something like that about the experimentation life I guess and see what pop off but yeah they had me shook us well, there's too many of them what's happening there's too many yeah, there's another one somebody been over here got some fur Got caught up. Alright, well, and we learn, we learn, we learn. Later.